Hey guys, Bodhi here. Today we have the finale of the animated Dave Sayers episodes. This is a double feature with an extra 30 minutes on my second channel where I reveal some things to him. Let's get into it. Yes, hello? Yes, hello? Yes, hello. Okay. Yes, Goodness. you got through to the bank? Yes. <clears throat> I, had to, I had to take a whole report, do a whole report, and... Goodness gracious, a lot Good. of information. Good. And, uh, okay, and it's the real bank now, right? You see, it's the real bank you talked to, the number I gave you, right? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was the, uh, <clears throat> I think it was the same guy, but, but it was, uh, yeah, it was it's the same the guy? One, the one that you it gave sound, me. It, so it sounded very it sounded similar. As if it's it sounds similar. Oh, so you see what they're doing? They hack your cell phone. If the bank sounds similar, that means they hack your cell phone, right? That's why, why I told no, you no, I no. wanted you. To oh no, I, I've been on with them for the last hour, and they, they, yeah, they had to uh, cancel oh. the other ones, the ones to Bank of America. They said that that account was uh, was already suspicious for uh, okay people complaining about being uh, uh, tech support. Right. Oh, oh, Remember, I told you the tech support they're scammers, right? So, so persons persons went through the same thing. That's what the bank told you? Yeah. Can you hear? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. So what did the bank say? The bank said they had to cancel what payment? Uh, the one that, uh, well, the one that was going to a Bank of America account. But they had to take a, oh. a report on it because they said that there was already an investigation about it. Right. Because remember I told you we launched an investigation about that because... Yeah. Persons were pretending well, they're to putting, be They're putting a, uh, a, a 24 hour hold on my bank account to make sure nothing else comes out of it at all. All right. And did you get a chance to check the balance? Did they tell you what's in there? Yes, they told me. Yeah. And how much is in the balance? Uh, it was uh, uh, 235,000. Okay, 235. And that's the same amount that is in there apart from the transaction you did yesterday, right? Yes. Excuse yeah. me. Uh, all right. So that's the only money that came out of it. Yeah. All right, good. Now, what what I want you to do is I told you, the number that you called for the bank, right? Yeah. Um, when you call the number, what's the first thing that the person said on the phone when you called the bank? What was the, what do you mean, what was the, what do you mean? All right, what did, what did, what did the bank, when you called the bank first, right? What did the, what did you hear? Did you get a chance to speak with the teller first or... It took you to the toll-free line. <coughs> oh, they said uh, this is uh, the Denton, Texas Chase Bank. How may I help you? That's what they say. That's oh, that's the only thing they say. Denton Chase Bank. Yes. Okay. And didn't it take you to a customer representative when you were talking to them? Didn't yes, it take yeah. you to a toll-free a toll-free line a toll-free line before you speak to a customer representative? Well, they picked didn't right you have up. To punch in any, they picked right up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that that doesn't sound good because if the phone just picked up immediately as you called, that means the caller was on your phone. All right. So you still haven't got. Well, rid no, of it the rang. Phone. It rang a couple times and then they picked up. It rang a couple times. Yes, I know. I, okay. I dialed a number. And what's the name of the person that was on the phone? What is a gentleman or was it a lady? It was a gentleman. His name was Jeff. Jeff. Okay, and does he sound the same way as the person from tech support? No, no, no. He sounded he sounded like he had the same sort of. Maybe they were from the same area, but like they had like oh. an, a European accent. They have a European accent, like they're from India. Not really, India. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Oh, uh, okay. Now, what I want to let you know, if you're going to talk to someone from the Bank of America, it has to be, you know, the. Um, the bank, the Chase Bank, it has to be a representative that speaks fluent English, right? That you can recognize an American on the cell phone with you. So I'm trying to find out. Oh, if no, 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 bank, uh, all kinds of people phone. outsource all the time. Right, right. So I'm trying to find out if those persons are, you know, hacking your cell phone, right? Because if they're hacking your cell phone, you can speak to them and they're going to tell you that everything is okay on your account and they stop the $500 payment. But that's not the issue. Before they told you that, did they ask you for your social security number? What did they ask you for? Uh, they asked me for my uh, uh, the bank account, and then they asked me for the uh, uh, the verbal password that I have on the account. 
Well, you shouldn't give anyone your password on your account, sweetheart. That's where you went wrong. Because if you gave them your password, that's not the bank. The bank should know your password, right? Oh, yes. So that's something fishy there. That's something fishy. And that's why I told you, I want you to get someone to take you down to the bank personally, right? That's what I want you to do. Because tomorrow morning, tomorrow morning or this afternoon, I don't want you to say, the tech support took money from you and I was telling you and you didn't. I want you to know that it happened and you need to get that started out right now. All right. So what I need you to do, what I need you to do for me, okay, is if you can call your nephew and see if he can take you down to the bank personally. Because, sweetheart, if you're making phone calls and the phone calls are getting transferred and we're not getting the right results, that still means that someone is not is doing something fishy. Right now, I got around 10 phone calls from numbers I don't know, right? My phone's been ringing, 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 ringing constantly over the last hour, right? And those numbers, I don't know those numbers, and those are some of the numbers you gave me as well from the tech support. So I'm wondering why they're calling me and you didn't give them my number, right? So it doesn't it doesn't add up. They what? Okay? They, they called you? Yes, they called me on the same 940 number they called you on. So I'm saying to myself, I don't know that number. And when I answer it, it's them. So I'm saying to myself, they're trying to scam me as well, or they're trying to tell me not to advise you on what to do, right? But I'm trying to make sure that I can advise you on it because I don't want you to say I did it. I want you to understand that I'm trying to help you here in this situation, all right? Because you're getting millions of dollars. And if persons are playing with your account right now, we will not be able to put that money in that account. So what I would advise you on well, doing it, is moving your money. Yeah, it'll be 24 your, hours until I can do anything with it. Go. I know it's 24 hours. That's what they say. That's what they say. But you can check the bank personally. Personally, sweetheart. Safety first. All right? Take my word for it. Take my foolish advice for it. My All right? Advice? Safety, safety first. All right? <clears throat> because remember... Remember, when you look at it, I'm trying to make sure that you save money, not lose money. And that's what I'm here for. In no point in time, I will feel comfortable knowing that someone hacked your computer, almost crashed your computer. The only enjoyment you have there to do your personal business without going on the road. And they crashed your computer this morning and charged you to fix it. That's not fair, right? Do you understand? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Who's this? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? It's Dave. Dave, yes. All right, wonderful. I did just had a, a, uh, call your... a conversation with somebody. Yeah, um, did you... I realized you were on the phone because someone contacted me. I was hearing your call was connected. Someone saying they're the federal agent, right? Which they're not, right? Because remember, Publishers Clearinghouse did not take any information from you about your computer, right? Well, they're so telling me that telling you're, you that they're telling me that you're, you're a scam artist. No, I can't be a scam artist, sweetheart, and you never give me information on your computer. Those persons are setting the scam up. Because a while ago we were talking and they cut your call off. They cut your call off with me, and I was calling you for the last 30 minutes straight, and I could not get you. So that's why I'm telling you someone is hacking your phone right now. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me right now, you can remember the voices. And they changed the lady now to a lady because guess what? They realized I told you about it. So everything we talk about on the phone, they know. Isn't it, isn't it suspicious? What? Isn't it suspicious, that, isn't it suspicious that everything we talk about, each time we try to do something correct, you're getting the next phone call, you're making a call, someone is on top of it. So this is what I want you to do. The only way you're going to know if someone is on your phone right now, call your nephew. Just call him. I was trying. It wasn't him. going through. Exactly. Exactly. So now you see that someone is hacking your phone. Those persons are hacking your phone. So they won't. They don't want you to make a call to your nephew. Well, how would you know? All right? They were telling because me that I you would you. know all of this stuff because you're the one that's doing it. No. The reason why I know it's because we're talking about it. And I told you to do it. I told you to do it. And they hear. 
They overheard everything what I told you. They told me that the the publisher's clearinghouse never asked for anything. They are using. They're using our information, sweetheart. Right? They're using our information and they're trying to make you work with them, right? So this is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go over to my neighbor's house and I'm gonna use the phone over there. Yes. I'm yes, use her phone. Use your phone and call your nephew. Use I'm your call, neighbor's I'm phone and call, call your nephew. Call your nephew. Not the police. Call your nephew and I'm the bank. Call the from nephew your neighbor's and the police. Phone. Yes, from your neighbor's phone. From your neighbor's phone. And I'm sure you're going to get in touch with your nephew, but this phone is not safe. Publisher's clearinghouse has nothing to do with go what's over. going on. I'm going to go over to Michelle's right? house. Yes, get Michelle and let her call from her phone. Call your bank from her phone. Don't use your home phone to call your bank because these persons are, are trying to scam you and they're making it look as if it's the publisher's clearinghouse. We did not give you any information for Bank of America nor do any transfer out of your account. You you let those persons did it because you but give I them access to your $21,000 to you. The $21,000 was to the merchant banker. You did that yesterday, not today. No, right? but they said that and I should never have said that, that that is, that's fraud. The, the reason why they told you that is because they want to take 80000 out of your account. And they're, they, they did that. They're trying to take money out of your account right now. They block you out of your account. That's what I'm telling you. Remember when you were on the phone with the guy this morning and I told you the guy was a scammer, right? That's why I taped the information and I taped the conversation because they wanted to know what is in your account and what they're doing is to affect the money that's there. So as I told you, the only thing that you can do to prove yourself is to just call your nephew from your friend's phone. Take my word for it. Just take my word for it. Even Uh, if they tell you I'm a scammer, even if they say I'm a scammer, listen, even if they say I'm a scammer, right? If I'm a scammer, I would never want you to call your nephew. Listen. The guys are on the phone. Yes, the guys are on the phone. The guys, they're on the phone. So they're trying to tell me to not let you call your nephew if you listen you'll hear them on the phone trying to say something but this is what you're going to do you're going to call your nephew anything call your nephew hello yes call my i'm gonna i'm gonna go over to michelle's yes go over to michelle and call your nephew the guy the guy they're on the phone (laughs) there he has a rough voice he's The, the call is breaking through on the phone sweetheart go call your nephew and let your nephew call your bank from his phone or call your bank from your friend's phone. All right. Take the number I gave you and call the bank from your friend's phone. Don't use the number you have there. And you're going to see that your money was taken out of your account by the, the technical guy. No All right. I already, already have money. What do I do? Sweetheart. I already have Sweetheart. Money. Can you hear? What do I do? Can you hear them saying they, can you hear what they say? They say they already have your money, so they're on the line. I don't hear, there's somebody else, I don't hear anything. Someone is grumbling on the line. We have money already, we don't care. I'm not hearing. You can hear them? No, I don't hear anything. Listen carefully. He said he took your money, so the person's on your phone. Yes, yes, because they're hacking your phone. The little crackling is them hacking your phone. So, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. Use your nephew's, use your friend's phone to call your back. Remember, they you. told you yes. to. I come to Spanish town for you. Okay, I'll, okay. Call, I'll call my nephew. I'll go yes. to Michelle's. Y- yes, and listen to me. Listen to, to me. Spanish let him know that weekend. you paid. Yeah. You paid. Let, let him know you paid some money to fix your computer, and these guys are blocking your call from your computer and on your cell phone. That's why you could not get your nephew, because they're blocking your calls, and I've been calling you, and I can't get in touch with you. So even if you don't do this right now, you're still going to lose out, and they're going to think they have won, all right? But they're good in what they do. They're good in what they do, because they're hacking your computer, and we cannot stop it, right? And now they're on the phone while we're talking. So they have your phone connected, because they hacked your computer today. You let them hack your computer by letting someone fix your computer. You shouldn't do that. Publishers Clearinghouse do not fix computers. All right? Well, no, we do of not course fix not. computer. We do not fix computer. So how could we hack your computer? <laughs> and we have nothing to do with your computer. They never Think said, about it. They never said you hacked my computer. So how did your computer get hacked? How is persons on your phone line right now and taking money out they of your account said and that, calling They never my said that. They said that you're a scammer. That the money I sent you is, they is are. probably gone for good. They, 
And that, uh, no, they're not gone for good. They're not gone for good. They're still there. So call. I'm Remember, gonna, you gonna, cannot make a call. When I call my call. bank, I'm getting everything reversed. Everything. Call your bank. Listen, call your bank from. Call your bank from. That is your friend's phone. Yes. I need you to do that. And do not use the number that the IT person give you on the computer. Remember, do not give the bank the number. Use the number on the computer. Ask your friend. Ask your friend to Google the number for you. All right. Yes, I already have it written down here. Do not. What's the number you have written down? Tell me the number. It's not the right number. Tell me the number you have. For what? It's the. Uh, what is it? Nine four zero three eight one seven four zero two. All right. Good. So go over your na- your 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 friend right now and call the bank and check your account. And this is what I want you to do. When you go over there, the first thing you're going to do is call your nephew's call your nephew's phone and see if it rings. If it rings from your friend's phone, then you will know that I'm telling the truth. All right? Yes. Okay. Because guess what, sweetheart? What? This this is what you're going to do. You're going to call your nephew off your phone your friend's phone to make sure you can get in touch with someone on the phone. And once that goes through, then you will realize that the person's messed your phone up, right? Because as I told you, I had nothing to do with your computer and your phone, okay? So at the end of the day, technical support are persons that do technical work. So they are responsible for hacking your account or your computer, all right? All right. All right. So all I needed to do, you don't need to worry yourself. Don't worry yourself. Just go to your friend and call the bank number, check your balance, and see how much money is there. All right? That's all you're going to do. The number I gave you, call the bank and check the account over your friend. That's like don't, a 15-minute like like walk to my, over there. Goodness Sweetheart, Jesus. if it's a 15-minute walk, it's 15 minutes to save in yourself 100000 or $80,000 or even $20,000. So as I told you, you said you tried to call your friend from even your cell phone, <clears throat> all right? You said you tried to call your friend from your cell phone or you tried to call your nephew from your cell phone and the call cannot go through. Why do you think the call cannot go through? And immediately when you call them back, know. your call goes through. I because guess know. what? They're talking to you. They're talking to you like they are the bank, right? They're talking to you like they're talking to you like they are a representative, and now they're taking their time to talk to you while we're on the phone. But we don't care what they think, right? We don't care what you're gonna do, right? Is the most important thing. You're gonna call your nephew, right, and see if the phone rings. If the phone rings from your nephew, what you're gonna do? You're gonna call the bank and you're gonna stop all transfers. I don't care if you stop my transfer but you stop all transfers that you don't know of, all right? Yeah. And after you stop all transfers, sweetheart, what you're going to do, right? You're going to close that account out. You're going to change your email, right, on your account, and we're not going to focus on any money. So you don't need to send me any money. You don't need to focus on giving anyone any money. This is what you're going to do. You're going to close the account, all right? No online access. No money out of the account, no money going anywhere. All right. You're just going to close the account until you go in the bank. All, all right. right? That's okay. all you're going to do. All okay? right. I'm going to hang so up. I'm going to call him right now. Money. Yes, you don't need to send me any more money. All right? All right. Okay. The money you sent me already, that money has gone through already. So that's okay. The rest of money that's in your account, you put a lock on your account. And you go over your friend <sighs> and you're going to call from your friend's number. And you're going to check your account. Or you're going to call your nephew. If the phone rings, that's a plus. Because that way you will see that those persons were blocking your phone. I'm going to call, a, I'm gonna call a taxi so I can get over there. Yes, but guess what? Guess what, sweetheart? Guess what? what? If you call a taxi from your phone right now, if you ever call a taxi from the phone you're on, you're never going to get a taxi. All right, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to call a Why? Uber cab. I'm going to see if I can get a Uber for you. Because those persons are going to hack your call. They're not going to let your call go through, right? I'm telling you, because that's what they've been well, doing. Let me, let me try. Been... Let me try. All right, try. Try, try sweetheart. Right. I'm right. on the phone. Dial right. the four 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 nine 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 nine. Yes, ma'am. You have a taxi. I drive you. No problem. All right. Hello? Yes. Did you get through? Yes, I did, yeah.
All right. And what's the name of the driver that's coming there? Because I need to make a report of him. Because if that guy, if, 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 if it's not a real driver, I, I'm going to make sure they lock that person up. What's the name of the driver? Oh, they didn't, they didn't give me a name of a driver. That's not, that's not, that's not a company. That's not a company. Take the number, take the Uber number and go to your next door neighbor. Take the Uber number. My next door neighbor is 15 minutes away. Sweetheart, listen to me. 15 minutes of your future depends on this. All right. 15 minutes out of your time right now curves your future, right? There's no way you can make a call to get a cab and then the cab driver doesn't give their name. I told you they're on the phone. The person that hack your computer are listening everything that we're saying. So if we talk about something, they can conference your call. Why couldn't you call your nephew and you get a call to go through your, the, the car, the, the, the taxi operator? No, maybe How could I, you get I, your I, should try, I can try him again. Let me try him again. No, try him again, right. Try him again and you'll see. Try your nephew again. You see, you just get the taxi. See if you get your nephew now. If you don't get your nephew, we don't talk anymore about this. You just go right ahead and walk 15 minutes. Let me show you what's really going on. All right. Because okay. no one is going to scam you on my watch. No All right. one. All right. I'm telling you. All Remember, right. you're not giving me any money. So you don't have that in the question. Anything you give me, you give me already and that's it. No money. No more money. All, All right. right. You okay. don't not give me money. I don't want any money. Your account stays the way it is. All right? Okay. So what All you right. need to do, try calling your nephew right now. All right? If you don't get him. The next thing you're going to do is go straight to your neighbor, 15 minutes drive. Plug the computer out, out of the house before you go and go straight to him. And then you're going to take the number four, that is the taxi. Take the number four, that is the bank, and you're going to check on this. All right, because as I told you, I'm trying to help here. And I don't want you to say I did this. I didn't. Remember, you told me that your computer was going crazy, and I didn't know. And then we start resolving this together. All right? And I feel bad to know that someone is manipulating you and taking advantage of the situation. But wait Those a minute. Guys, they don't know what. It was when I got the emails from you. I got After an email from you. I sent you only one. I sent you only one email. One email, and it was sent from Debra. It was sent from the head office, right? Yes. So I didn't send you all the emails you got there. The email that you opened was a different email link they sent you when you type in the information you told me. You type in something on the search bar. Right, that is one one something, right? And that connects you to any desk. When you connect that way, persons can take control of your computer. I'm reading some information right now on the web. So what I need you to do is to get them off your computer, get your emails cleared up, get new emails, get new account information from your bank. If I was a scammer, I would not want you to do that. I would take your information the same way it is, right? So look at it my way. If I'm trying to help you clean things up, I would never try to hurt you. Okay? Mm, all right. Okay. Well, I'm going to call him. All right. all right. See if you can get your nephew now on the phone. Just dial it off. You don't have to hang up. Just press the numbers like you always did and try to call him. If you don't get him, if you don't get him, then you know that you have to do the next thing. And I'm sure right now you see what they're going to do. Either they let your call through or what they're going to do, they block your call. So either way, it's a win-win situation for you. All right? So if you can't get them, if you can't get your nephew, you go to your niece. If you get your nephew, you tell him to come by tech support, did something to your computer. Right? He, you want him to take you to the bank. Right? <laughs> but you go to your friend and you use their cell phone to call your bank. Do not call your bank from your phone again. All right? All right. Okay. And remember, I want nothing from you. Remember, you don't do any pay Hello? Yes. Hello? Can you hear me? It's Dave. Yeah, yes, you I get can a hear chance you. To, you get a chance to call your nephew? I so did, yes. Come by? I All did. All right, good, good, good. And you told him that someone is messing with your computer, right? You know what the guys did? They had the audacity of calling me and, and you know, leaving me messages on my phone. All right, and I'm going to try to let you hear, but what I need you to understand is I'm glad that you got a chance to call your nephew. You left messages on your over. phone? Yes, I'm getting a lot of calls from... I want to hear them, because these, these guys are... Like you said, you heard them getting, on the phone, too, and I couldn't hear them then, either. 
Yes, they're good at what they do. They're good at what they do, I'm telling you, sweetheart. So what I want you to do, you close down the account. You don't worry about spending any money. You don't give anyone any money, all right? You're not yeah. paying anyone for anything, all right? What you want to make sure happens is that your computer you have at home is fixed properly, all right? Yeah. And your cell phone you have yeah. there, they're on your cell phone, so you have to call your cell phone carrier and fix that issue, all right? And don't let anyone give you any number to call for any of your relatives or for me without having that number before at least three or four days ago. Any new number you get, you don't use those new numbers for your relatives. You realize what happened? We were on the phone and I tell you to make the call because they were listening to what we're saying so they couldn't stop you from calling your relative because I mm. want you to do that. Yeah. And, and that's and you, the best and you thing. Got, you, guys are, you guys are, where were you like located? You're, you're in uh, uh, Winter's Circle in Jericho, uh, California, in California, yeah. right? Yeah, we have various Winter's offices. Circle in we California? Have in, we have offices in California. We have offices in New York, right? But this is what I'm telling you. Those persons have no office. If you go on the yeah. website right now, you will not see their office because they're scammers. But I don't want you to focus. I don't want you to focus on Publishers <sighs> Clearinghouse. They're yeah, not important if, right if now. Imagine if Steve Harvey heard about this. He's going to be mad. Yes. He's going to be mad, I'm telling you. He's going to be mad. And he and works I'm with you guys, my... right? Yes, yes. Steve Harvey works with us. And I'm going to let... I'm going to make sure he can talk with you tomorrow, yeah. right? He's supposed to be on a flight to New York somewhere. But yeah. Steve Harvey's going to be mad. That's why I told you. Yeah. Remember when I was telling you you don't talk about your prize, you don't give out information about it? Because yeah. persons can hack your account. This is what's going on, right? Because they know what you're getting. And I told you, I knew nothing about your computer. I knew nothing about your account. So I couldn't do anything on that, all right? But as I told you, you do not send any money anywhere until you can get an understanding with your computer, right? You don't send any money anywhere. I don't want any money. And remember, I told you that. I don't want any money to do anything. Do you understand? Yes. And I, yes. Don't, ask you, and I don't ask you for money, okay? Because at the end of the day, this is to prove to you that I'm a good person, all right? I'm a good person, and I'm here to help you not to take money from you. Those persons from the iTech department that called you this morning, they are scammers. And look how long you've been trying to call your family and you can't get through, right? I see I'm pictures of you, actually. You're Dave Sayer. Wonderful, wonderful. So that's why I'm telling you, don't show those persons all those information because they're trying to scam you and they will try to scam me as well. That's why I sent you confidential information. Wait a minute, listen, you. listen. Hi, I'm Dave Sayer. Hello? Yes, sir. Now, I'm glad that you come by because I've been telling her to call you for the entire day. Some persons are blocking her phone calls on her cell phone. All right? And I told her that she don't need to send money to anyone. Not me, not anyone. All right? So I'm glad yeah. you come by. Someone from the iTech department asked her to download an app on her computer today. She was telling me about it. All yeah. right? So I told her to call you. I told her to physically to call you. And they did not want her to call you for four to five hours now. Those persons are blocking the call. All right. So what okay, I need so you to do. You, so you were, you can you were calling a, a, a tech support, was it, Wilma? Uh, yes, it was tech support. Uh, it was pop-ups all over. Yeah, the, some tech support. There. Some guy says that yeah, they're, they're from scammers. the tech They're scammers. They're scammers, Wilma. Goodness yes. gracious. Why would you, yes, uh, they're scammers. I tried to tell her, but she called me and think that I'm working uh, with them. But I told her I'm, I know nothing of them. Well, you're with so who? You need to help her. You know, I don't know of those persons. They you're, scammed me some with, money. You're with who? They, they scammed me some money, and I'm trying to ensure that this does not happen you're, you're, to her. Who are you with? All right. Who am I with? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm going to give you all the information about me, but what I need you to do oh for me goodness. right now, Can I need you to just turn her computer with? off. Like, uh, I need you to turn her. Listen, I, I need you to listen. check her computer. I, no, listen, don't I start giving me directions. Computer, don't start giving me directions. Sir, no, listen, I'm, not I'm asking you where you're from. I'm not Who are you calling you from? Who are you? I am located. I am located Who are you? in Jericho, New York. All right, I'm located in Jericho, New York, okay? But Jericho, I'm trying New to let York. you know. Okay, who are you? Yes, I, okay, that's a good place to live. Great. Who are you? Yes, I'm a who director are you representing? of operation. I'm a director of operation for that is a financial center. That is a distribution center a distribution that deals with finances. Center. 
Now I got finance. a report. That doesn't. That's a description of a I place. I got a report. Okay, I just, got a Wilma, report, where, where, Who I are these people report. that you're talking to? Like this Joker is like trying to beat around the bush. Who he is? Who who is he? IT department. The IT department are the person uh. that hacked her account. All okay, right? but who are you? So I'm trying to. I am Dave. Okay, Dave? I do not work with the IT department. I work with. That is the American Shoppers Award Network. She bought some items online from her department, and those items were sent to her home. They said and she told me earlier on house. today. Is, right. Sayer and she Publishers told me earlier on today. She told She's, me earlier on today. Dave Sayer that, from Publishers Clearinghouse. Right. And she told me earlier on today that a guy called her and tried to fix her computer, which she had no problems, and I didn't know. So I'm trying okay. to let you know right. that you should check her computer okay. and clear okay, just, off. Well, but how, how much did how much did the uh, uh, did the tech people take from you, or like how much did you pay? To they, them? Um, I paid. Uh, I think it was five hundred dollars or something like that. <sighs> so that's why I'm telling okay. you, sir. That's why I'm telling you, sir. You just need to stop that. Did you give Dave? Did you give up. this so, guy, this Joker, so, any money? So at the end of the day, yeah, I gave him some money. We well, how much we did you do give? Not, okay, he. You she get she gave you we money. Not, okay, how much money did you that give money you? was that money was transferred About back? Twenty one thousand right? twenty one thousand dollars. Twenty one thousand dollars for what? What that money was what the, transferred. What the she bought some products. Pro products. She bought for, some products. She brought, and, bought products and, for twenty one thousand dollars. That money 000. was canceled. The guy hacked well, it her wasn't computer. Products sir. at all. He said that it was fees and taxes for my winnings. Right. The, the guys taxes. hacked her computer. You little scoundrel. The guys hacked her computer. The guys hacked her computer. You and little everything scoundrel. The These guys are scammers. These guys are scammers too. You've been. You've okay. talked with two scammers now today. How? What is going on, Wilma? Like, what? What do you? What are you getting yourself into that you're talking to all scammers all the time? I don't know. Scammers are called. Her, I didn't call her. I you're a scammer. You're a for. scammer. You need to get to the bank. You need to. We need to call the bank right now. And that's, what to this, this, that's what I told her to do. That's what I told this transfer. That's what I told to her you. To do for stop the, the transfer day. to you. We don't I need to stop the transfer that's anybody. Stopped already. You didn't that's stop stopped anything. Already. That stopped already. Where, do, you have, do you have the information? Have do you have the information access. you sent the money to? They stopped it. They the, uh, stopped the it because they have her online access. Yes, I have it They stopped it because they had her online right access. Right in front of you, right? It's on the paper. Okay, well, I'm sure FBI will like to see that this information. Satchel. Okay. Well, at least you have it all recorded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're, well, we're, we have to go because we have to call the bank and, uh, and have all of these... Uh, everything stopped. So, so it's not an issue. But as I mentioned to you, this is not the case where our company or me are trying to take any money. We're just trying to save Did the situation. Did he say that so I would buy some You do what you have to do. And thank you. Thank you for yes, coming she by. Was, she, thank you for coming said by. That you and products. The issue. Said that you bought products. Thank you. Listen, thank you for coming by. What kind of, what kind of products did she buy account. from you? This is what I want to let you know, sir. All right. All right. I'm glad you came by. I'm glad you came by. Oh, I'm Listen sure. To me. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you came yeah. by. Oh, yeah. And I'm glad you stopped it because those persons, <laughs> they wanted to clear her account out. And I did not want that to happen. So it's yeah, good well, that you came by. Go stop yeah, the account. Yeah. Well, Go we'll stop be, payment we'll on the account. We'll be calling you if there's anything right? wrong with the balance in the account. We'll no know, problem. We'll no know problem. Who took it. No, we'll know who ha no I'm problem. I'm sure that you no have. Problem. I'm sure you're involved with I the don't other have. too. I don't have the details. Sure, it's all, I don't it's have It's usually the all a big organized thing that goes everywhere. It's so not an organized thing, yeah, my friend. Yeah, what we're trying to do is to save her, her from both sides. It's to save her some money. Attacking a senior it's to save citizen her some from money. Ta all right. attacking a senior citizen from both sides. Well, we're not attacking How dare everything, you? but if you look in the situation, How dare you? we're trying to help. So do How what dare you? Doing. How dare you? Try to take from a senior citizen. Yeah, okay, we're calling your calling your bank. Well, there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you have not already. Then hit the bell and share. And until the next one, vote out. You have been by ODA.